dog. <laughs> Good morning to the tube. We are still in Karumba and um, today it is Ryan's birthday and we're heading out fishing. Surprised him with a fishing car for his birthday. Yeah. How pumped are you? Oh mate, I'll tell you what, I am that keen. We weren't going to do it because we are like, oh, you know, the money and all that sort of stuff. It. He just didn't think I was going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> and made me convince me that it wasn't happening. So, <laughs> I am that bloody keen and I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Got me you? first fish. You got I missed fish. the whole thing. <laughs> he did it on purpose. Yep. I feel sorry to the tube, but you don't get to see it. Yeah. <laughs> She's coming right now. Is it? Yeah. Is that what it is? I think so. It looks I'm not like too it. Sure. Blue salmon? Cool. Awesome. Awesome. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for a sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. How'd you go? What was it? Cool. First oh, one. Mate. Is that the first one? I think it is, you yeah. You got a shark in. You got a shark in. I got in, a shark in, yeah. And you got snapped off. That's right. So what, is that a fish? That's a fish. What is it? Oh, I have no idea. Is it a salmon? Is it a blue salmon? Yeah, I think it's a blue salmon, yeah. Oh, it's a steelback. Steel? Steelback salmon. Steelback steel steel salmon, salmon, eh? Ooh. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? How'd you go, mate? Ate fish. Um, <laughs> fish the day, no, sure. Good morning, we have just left Karamba. We left a bit late because we yeah. were umming and ahhing on whether, whether we were actually going to leave today or not. We woke up and we were just like, oh, I don't feel like moving at all. No, but we made it happen, got in the car. We're yeah. just gonna head to Normanton um, just to check out the Purple Pub yeah, because we didn't get to on the way pub, through. So. so we're gonna do that. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think Ryan wants to see if he can put the drone yeah. up here on we'll the drive a bit. The salt pans are like right beside us, so I reckon it'll look pretty cool, but um, see what happens. A fair bit of traffic, so we'll see how we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
So we're all set up at the caravan park in Normanton. We selected to go to the one that's just across the road from the Purple Pub just so it's easy. That was the whole point for us for being here was to go check out the Purple Pub. Um, it's got a pool which looks super inviting. Yeah, oh you can't see the cars. Are. We've pulled up, we've kept the van, van attached. Um, it was $36 for a powered site for one night. Otherwise I think it was $14 per person per night yeah. for an unpowered site. Um, the people weren't there. And the sign on when we came through, there's a sign on the door just to um, find a site yeah. and go back later. So we've just kept everything hooked up, and hopefully that's all good. And we can use it as a drive-through because we're only staying the one night. But yeah, keen to head across to the pub now, and then we might go for a swim when we get back. I think. Awesome. Sounds good. Got the green grass. Hmm. All the green grass. All the green grass. Yeah. We should actually call ourselves Wandering Pub Crawl. Yeah. Because that seems to be all we do. Or Wandering Spend Too Much in Accommodation. I think this is our last. Well, well, we've seen a lot of camps that are supposed to be free camps, but you still got to pay for them, eh? Yeah, in Berktown. So. Yeah, they used to be free camps. Yeah. But the, the price they are, I think, because it's like a permit to fish there at the same time. Yeah, right, yep. Well, how'd you go? Okay. The big girl ordered the slushy. that was supposed to just be tequila or something. I thought it was just going to be vodka, but it was vodka. Um, tequila and white rum. I'm not really a rum. And look at her, she came in walking a straight line. <laughs> I'm not really a rum drinker, so very interesting, but. Yeah, you did well, you smashed it, I'll give you that. Oh. I thought we should have just got another beer, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. anyway. We can tick the purple pub off. Phew, update for the the tube. Just about to give the dog a treat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just cooking some dinner outside. Um, we're gonna do some fish and chips, so some fresh fish from our catch yesterday. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna grill it, a bit of bar, a bit of salt, the good stuff. Um, and yeah, we just have the air fryer on because we're in a caravan park, so I thought we'll use that while we're here. And um, yeah, pretty keen to eat the fishies that we caught. Yeah. What's the plan tonight? Just grill on it. Yeah, just put it, brown it off in a little bit of butter and um, add a little bit of salt. Yeah. A little bit more butter in there. I usually cook with butter, but I love butter with grilled cheese. I suck for it. Absolutely suck for it. Mm. Sorry if there's any bones in it. <laughs> You'll be chewing it like a mashed potato. Mm. Yeah, that's good. How good's this? Fresh fish and some chippies. Yummy. <laughs> Good morning guys, we've just left Normanton this morning and we're heading to where? Burktown. Burktown. We're going across the Great Top Road, someone had called it yesterday, so I have no... Still part of the Savannah Way. No it? facts to back that up, but yeah, it's in a Savannah Way alternate route, so... Oh, yes. fancy alternate route. Plenty of big road trains and I believe it's going to turn into dirt for about 150k, so... Yay. Yes, we should have taken the van to the tip of Cape York. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. anyway, yeah, so there is a camp at Burktown. There's a caravan park there, and there's also um, camps along the river. And you just go into the information center and chat to them to book them, I think. So that's what we're going to do once we get into Burktown. Wouldn't mind going to the shops and just, we've got a couple of things to buy for dinner tonight so that we can yeah. hopefully cook up some dinner on the fire. Yeah, it'd be good. And did you mention a uh, fishing? Permit or something we got to get a hold of. Yeah, but I think that's included in your um, okay. fees to camp. There's right. like a fishing permit in it. So you fees to camp on the river, yeah. Awesome, that sounds good. Yeah. 
Is there a flat tire? No, this, the road must make it sound funny. Ryan is always paranoid we have a flat tire. Yeah. All the time. Or you, so you now when he says it, it, I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. We used to be the king for it, but that's the problem. Anyway, keep moving. Keep <laughs> moving. Yes. We just had a camper come on, he didn't look that dusty, so... Fingers crossed. They've had a bit of rain. Dust suppression, mate. Wondering if he's coming through, get the trucks on it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Might even find a job out here. What do you think, Macdo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very sad face you have. Oh my goodness. Are you alive? Oh my god. You've got the turtle in the front. There's actually so much more like uh, sealed road than I thought. Yeah. I was actually driving along going, when is the dirt? Everyone's talking about, ah, oh, it's all dirt. It's definitely not all dirt. There's a good, what, what I would say. It's all dirt now. We probably did 60 to 80 k's of sealed road. But um, yeah, from now on, I think this is where the 150 starts. <laughs> We are in the Outback Queensland, baby. How good is it? So good, man. Guess what? So good. I'm not driving. You! Pretty keen. Em's taking a helm. Getting in, her, getting in her caravan hours. Get her more confident out here. That way then when we get into town, she um more than willing to drive, so. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> she said once we get an automatic car, she'll be towing all the time. That way I can just film and take photos, which is what I want to do, so. Cool. Automatic car. <laughs> yeah. So if uh, yeah, we're just chasing an automatic, nice, big, tough car. If anyone wants to sponsor us? Yeah, send it our way. You finished, are ya? It's snack time.
You're just coming up, you're about to come up now. So the river that's fed by this, it's salt water, and it's, um, well the river that feeds this, sorry, salt water and there is crocodillas. So they reckon it's not a vase for to Wow, look at that. Oh, look how green, how beautiful the water is, man. Wow. It's really insane. That is nuts. It was a bit of a hairy drive in, I'm not going to lie. I was oh, did we say this is Leichhardt Falls? Leichhardt Falls, no we didn't. Yeah, so it's on the way to, into Burke Town. Once awesome, you turn man. Um, back onto the Savannah Way. Yeah, it was a little bit gnarly coming in, but... Yeah, we'll try and get some videos on the way out. Pretty over there. In the crowd, but I felt so alone. But then I fall like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. We had never met before that time, but I just knew. Alright guys, just arrived at Burktown, got a photo of the sign, and uh, we're just driving along. And we've seen the uh, Burktown, uh, I think it's the hot springs I believe. So, um, pulled on in. Mate, this is nuts, have a look at this. Em's just in the van for a little bit. Check this out, would ya? This is insane. Caution hot water, but look at that, would you? That is absolutely unreal. Wow, colors, mate. You can walk all the way up into here. Wow. Mate. That is that good, and look at that. Just goes all the way out into a bit of a plane. Absolutely mint. Oh, here she is, the big girl's out. My um, basket fell out in the bathroom all over the floor. How? Well, because they hit corrugations, mate. We went on like a bitumen road. <laughs> Look at the colours. Wow. So nice. This is a bore, hot water bore, is it? Yeah, so they say. Is it hot? Have you felt oh, it? Oh yeah, it's hot. Is it really hot? Yeah, I've only touched it down here and it's hot enough for me. I won't be touching it up there. So we have ticked off photo at the sign and we just pulled into this hot water ball that we didn't even know. Was so I think here, they had so. a, they made a um, they built a bathhouse, a local uh, like a public bathhouse here in the forties, nineteen forties I think it said. With the ball water. Awesome, isn't it? Ball water. Yeah. Crazy. Cool. So what's the plan now? Um going to town, see if we can get a shop, um, and then head to the information centre and um, see if there's any camps out by the river for the night. Albert, 
think it's the Albert River. Yeah, we drove yeah. past and it looks absolutely unreal. So. Yeah, Ryan wants to catch some fish. I want to fish so bad. I want to cook some fishes, so I think <laughs> we should fat catch some fishes. Yeah, sure. fingers crossed. We actually crossed. need a bait shop too. Yep, mm. we will. Awesome. BT and all that glory. Yo. Incredible. I was lost in space. So we just paid our fees at the information centre in Burketown to stay on the Albert River. So it was $35 per vehicle front per night. Um, we are on campsite 16 in the meatworks section. It's been a little bit chaotic to find the campsite, but we're almost there I think now. And like, look at this river. Beautiful, we picked up some bait. Um, from the servo, so hopefully we catch some foshes. Yeah, be good. Right, guys, this is our campsite. Fifteen for Mary Bermiri. Apologies for the wrong pronunciation. Um, yeah, available, awesome. This is us camped up. We're gonna stay for one night. Albert River's right there. Fingers crossed we can catch a fish. I'm just about to go and uh, try and round up some firewood. We've got a little fire pit over here we can use. We got a little Mac dog under the van. We could be a lot closer to the water, but just for Mac's sake, we're just gonna stay a little bit further back. Van looks awesome. This is the kind of camping we want to do pretty well 24-7, so we, uh, we're pretty keen to try it out, see how much we like it and all that sort of stuff, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Say good day, Em. Good day. <laughs> Big girl's hungry, she's not in the mood at all. We didn't stop for lunch, it's four o'clock. Four o'clock, she says. <sighs> ah! Not happy Jan. Not happy Jan. What's she on? The old salsa and burritos. All you have to do is feed a gal and she'll be happy. <laughs> Ryan can't feed a gal. Happy days. Well, the going's good. You keep on going. How'd you go? Good. Good? Got heaps of work. Got yeah. 800 trips now to get back. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Backwards. What do you think, Mac? Stick for you. Is that a stick for you? What are we attempting tonight, Del? I'm just cooking some chicken, chicken, fish. <laughs> Got an egg and then panko crumb coating on it. I was hoping to be able to cook it on the cook plate. It's becoming harder than anticipated. But we need like a skillet for the fire, I think. Yep. To put like over the top. Yep. I think you're just gonna have to throw it on top of it, eh? Yeah, but we need to get the oil a little bit hot first so it doesn't just stew. Yeah. because it's like you usually shallow fry this. I'll do a couple of pieces if it doesn't work, I might just have to um, forget about the fire. But see what happens today, it's all good.
Didn't go to plan, mate. No, it cooked, but not how I'd like it. And then I tasted it, and I was like, what's this missing? I didn't put any, like, seasoning in my herbs. <laughs> seasoning in my herbs. We wanted, it like, KFC comes. chicken, don't we? But only, so I'm going to uh, do Italian and herbs fish. and garlic salt over the rest of it. Awesome. We'll be able to compare the two anyway. Mm. These will come up way better. I've done this before. Yeah. I just went to test it on the fire and see how it went. Yeah, well, we'll have to get it's one still, of them skillet like, things you said. Mm. Oh, then yeah. you can just shallow fry the oil. Done it's deal. still cooked like great, and it's not it's not terrible, but it's just not. Mm, it's not the same. Popping. Yeah. McDaddy. Hey, you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad because we've been so busy all afternoon doing stuff, and we've been kept keeping him away from the water. Probably a little bit more cautious than we need to be, but. Oh, I just don't know what to do with that little man. Hey, buddy. And he doesn't listen, so... He doesn't come back, do you? Whoa, big stretch. Oh, take two. Whoa, wow, look at that. It's going straight to my thighs. Bye. <laughs> Yum. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Yummy. We're on a little bit of a lean. <laughs> so I had to improvise and only and move the pan right up and only cook with <laughs> the bottom half. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's happened. Worked well. Yeah. They actually come up beautiful. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> that's for sure. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Yummy. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. You. Just a mosquito update. Fiddle focus. Wow, this autofocus is shit. Mm. What's the bracky? Um, I cooked up some bacon. And then these are just some leftover pancakes from the other day. I'm just heating up in the pans. So we're gonna have some, I think they're called Canadian, did you say Canadian breakfast? I couldn't tell you. Pancakes with um, bacon. Bacon and maple syrup. I'm pretty sure it's called a Canadian breakfast. Happy days. We woke up and I don't know if you can see outside, but it is blowing a gale. To the point where it's actually got the wind symbol on the bomb. Which... So, Rama's gonna go for a fish this morning. Yeah. It's a bit windy. Yeah. I know that if I cast my line out there, it's gonna end up in that bush for sure. So, for sure. For sure. That's just, me and fishing don't go well together. Well, that's it for this one, guys. We hope you liked the um, bit of fishing that we got up to for Ryan's birthday on the charter out of um, Karumba. We hope you guys like the Purple Pub at Normanton and also our time at the Albert River in Burktown. So we're just leaving Burktown at the moment. Um, yeah, we hope you liked a bit of a cook up on the fire, even though it didn't end up as planned um, and we ended up finishing on the stove, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this one and um, hope we catch us in the next. All right, guys, like, subscribe, you know what you're doing.